Good morning, America. Live from Back Bay here in Fun and Sun, Northern New England, Southern Maine, Coastal Maine, Portland, Maine with Frank Margell. Today is Monday, Monday, November 9th. 2015. It's about 10.30 a.m. in the morning here at Back Bay and Sun and Fun, Portland, Maine. High tide. It's a good day to be out and about. And this is a freelance video. You'll find it at Frank Margell at YouTube.com. I post on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Call it the Big Four. Go ahead and send me a comment. This is also a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. And uh, I'm out here in the public domain here at Back Bay on this gorgeous morning day. Uh, the national weather uh, forecasters uh, for the area called for sun in the mid 50s today with a little uh, wind uh, coming from the southwest about five to ten miles uh, per hour look there's not a cloud in the sky here at Back Bay it is absolutely a gorgeous pristine fall day and it is currently about 53 degrees and uh, no wind uh, really to worry about so uh, my video on this tripod uh, <laughs> may not be as noisy as some and uh, I'm practicing more with a tripod. So uh, thank you all for your patience. Uh, I've gotten a few comments regarding uh, my videos being a little jumpy and jittery, but uh, I'm, I'm using a tripod here and I'm, and I'm getting some good practice. And we're looking at the big city of Portland, Maine over there, and we're gonna start getting close to the sun. Uh, and you can see 295, the traffic, uh, going north and south and then of course you have the big bank building over there the time and temperature building so we're here in Back Bay and uh, it is a gorgeous main day to be out and about it feels like summer and uh, I am reminded of the term Indian summer so that's what it feels like to me uh, it was uh, absolutely wonderful this weekend it was a little more breezier uh, yet, uh, there are still some leaf peeping opportunities, uh, but they're beginning to fall in numbers now. Well, let's uh, get into a little bit of uh, political commentary here this morning. And go ahead and check your facts and do some research. If I strike a chord with you, please go right ahead and send me a comment at frankmargal at youtube.com once again i post on facebook twitter and google plus i appreciate your comments your noteworthy comments and uh all the good cheer uh, i want to thank you for sharing my videos and uh, clicking on them when you can uh, the topic uh of discussion this morning here at back bay in the big city of portland maine uh, i'm once again revisiting uh, mandatory minimum wage coming to Portland, Maine, January 1st, 2016. That's right. The city of Portland has mandated uh, by way of law and ordinance uh, that all businesses will be required uh, with some uh, exemptions. So check your facts. Uh, but uh, most of the uh, employees uh, are going to be receiving $10.10 an hour. And I've been posting up a lot of videos uh, regarding uh, that issue in particular. And I wanted to once again revisit some aspects of this new law. And if you want to find some information about uh, the information that I am going to be sharing with you, uh, you can find it at uh, proposed amendments to order two 97-14-15 under the Portland City Council minutes and uh, you can find a search box there uh, and just go ahead and type in minimum wage and you're going to pull up some articles 
and uh, what I've done is uh, pulled up page two uh, to the uh, proposed amendments to order 297-14-15. You can Google this. Uh, or you can just take my word on it, but always check your facts, uh, especially if you're doing some research in this area. Oh, what's so fascinating about uh, <laughs> mandatory minimum wage? Um, well, uh, in, in my previous discussions, um, I have uh, mentioned uh, on several occasions that um, Portland is mandating uh, a wage of 10 10 an hour here in Maine's largest city. Yet the state has not mandated or changed the law. So we have two different uh, uh, forces in play here. Portland will be uh, operating at uh, 10, 10 an hour mandatory minimum wage, but the state is much lower. So Portland went ahead and uh, passed this uh, law, uh, these proposed, uh, uh, this proposed legislation into law and uh, come January, uh, we're looking at an unprecedented uh, event taking place right here in Portland, Maine. So I find it fascinating. I find uh, many uh, aspects of this law confusing. Uh, I, it's been my opinion that uh, this type of action, these laws, and uh, this proposal should have been uh, defeated, uh, or I think it should be reformed. I think we should, uh, uh, as, a, as, as a state, work together instead of Portland operating as its own nation of its own laws. I find that very peculiar. And I don't find it unifying uh, or uh, under uh, uh, due diligence and uh, prosperity and all the members of the state uh, coming together on this issue. I find uh, that uh, this law in particular uh, and the manner in which it uh, was passed, uh, I find it very divisive. However, you need to form your own opinions if you wish. Maybe you don't give a rat's about this and then, uh, well, at least you got a little view here, a high tide at Back Bay. Uh, but uh, if you have any uh, uh, concern for this, as I do, uh, I would like to see something like this repealed. Uh, so let's get right to it. I'm going to read from page two, and it's very brief, so hang in there with me, and uh, maybe we'll see a, a seagull or two. Let me see if I can find one over there. Uh, this shouldn't take but uh, 35 to 40 seconds to read, and then uh, I'll comment on it. Once again, check your facts. I'm reading from proposed amendments to order 297-14-15. On the top of page two, the paragraph reads, Whereas, after years of inaction by the United States Congress, it is time for municip municipalities, <laughs> municipalities, uh, pardon me, I'm going to get through this word, municipalities and states to lift families out of poverty and stimulate the economy by raising the minimum wage. And, and then it goes on, and there's several more paragraphs on page two. I will not get into all of those other paragraphs because I want to focus on uh, this first paragraph. And uh, perhaps um, at another time, uh, I can get into some more detail uh, regarding some of the other paragraphs. Once again, though, I uh, will make a humble attempt to reread this so as to not confuse. The first paragraph is the focus of uh, our discussion. Whereas after years of inaction by the United States Congress, it is time for municipalities and states to lift families out of poverty and stimulate the economy by raising the minimum wage. Well, um, here's my interpretation. Go ahead and interpret the, uh, this uh, any way you'd like. Uh, and so if I strike a chord with you, please, by all means, send me a comment. Uh, but this sentence uh, absolutely makes no sense to me. And it, it reads, once again, the first sentence, uh, 
whereas after years of inaction by the United States Congress, it is time for municipalities and states to lift families out of poverty and stimulate the economy by raising the minimum wage. And then there's a semicolon, and then it goes on, and of course, you know, um, the reason why this doesn't make any sense is, um, it's my humble opinion, and it may be yours, uh, that Congress uh, and um, municipal uh, cities and states and towns uh, are not economic engines. Uh, they uh, are not money trees. They uh, tax and spend and uh, make policy. Uh, sometimes they reform policy and they do set some standards for minimum wage. Nonetheless, the way this starts out on page two is after years of inaction. Uh, so here's an example of uh, uh, the, the Portland Maine City Council and uh, its acting mayor at that time, Mayor Brennan, uh, writing in, into effect opinion and analysis and their view that uh, the United States Congress has, uh, after years, not acted. Uh, so the real meat and potatoes in this uh, digression or this confusion is this sounds more like a bunch of garbage okay we elect representatives to represent our interest in congress and it's not up to uh, the states or municipalities uh, or the city of portland or the city council uh, to uh, digress from uh, our United States of America and our, and our constitutional framework. But that's exactly how this starts out. And to me, it's, it suggests rebellion and uh, a form of uh, independence from uh, the norm. I, I find it uh, rather uh, rare indeed, but there are other states and towns perhaps that are looking at this uh, let me give you once again my humble opinion. Uh, this should be repealed. Th this, this type of lawmaking should be, uh, there should be checks and balances and that uh, a city such as uh, Portland uh, that acts independently of its own state and the United States of America uh, is, is acting in a manner that's unwarranted and uh, as a nation unto itself. So that's my opinion. Uh, uh, laws like this should be repealed. Uh, and uh, we'll get into this some more. Uh, should everybody and his brother that starts working here uh, in Portland and, th and throughout all the states and all municipalities and throughout America get 10, 10 an hour? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, show me the magic money tree. <laughs> uh, perhaps eventually, uh, in the end, as I have stated uh, many times in the past, perhaps all career politicians should get 10, 10 an hour and leave the real economy and the free market uh, to those who actually resource and make a difference, make a buck, build this country. Politicians do not create jobs. They do not create jobs. They create and grow government and disparity and they write laws into effect that often don't make any sense. So laws like this need to be reformed. That's my humble opinion. Look, you have a great main day. Reform it, repeal it, find a law that makes sense. You have a great main day live at Back Bay. Monday, Monday, November 9th, 2015. It's about, oh, we're nearing 
11 a.m. in the morning here, about 15 minutes. We do have a little of that uh, breeze blowing. It's gorgeous out. It's beautiful, high tide. Send me a comment at frankmargal at youtube.com. Post on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'd love to hear from you. We need reformers. We need to repeal. We need to, we need to step back and deregulate instead of writing more laws like this that, in my humble opinion, are garbage. And uh, I will do my best to keep you informed on uh, these uh, actions taken by uh, the city of Portland acting as a nation unto itself. However, this is just my humble opinion and you have yours. So I'm more, I'm more than welcome to hear it and you can send it to me once again at frankmargell at youtube.com. I'd love to hear from you. You have a great main day. Uh, if you have a great mashed potatoes recipe, go ahead and send me a comment regarding that as well. I'd love to hear from you. Send me a comment about anything under the sun that is noteworthy. You have a great main day. This is Frank out. Take care.